Kawabata. She's been game. She's still in front, but Schwartemeyer's learning. They might have bumped once or twice. On the outside, Schwartemeyer takes the lead. She's too good. Schwartemeyer from Kawabata, not yeah, she just needed to put her head out a little bit more and maybe get a bigger nose. But um, no, Kawabata's um, going pretty good and uh, hopefully she uh, can step out. We'll try and maybe run her in a 2800 metre race, but um, all's good. Anyway, welcome to MZ Lodge for another week. Uh, yeah, we had a reasonably sort of busy week. Um, Kawabata went great the other night at um, uh, Cranbourne and also uh, I thought Macrobius turned things around. We've been riding him close and he hasn't really been finishing off, so he turned his racing upside down a little bit and rode him back and uh, he worked home a lot better. And um, his fleshly best form is on synthetic form that horse so um, we're going to be keen to sort of get him the synthetic series is all around now so we're getting to one of those synthetic series um, Yolanda took her to town the other day and tried her over the 2100 and oh, jury's out a little bit she had a pretty tough run was three deep no cover and um, I thought she went fair um, I'll probably just uh, we're going to take her to Adelaide for a couple of the Philly stakes races but at the moment she'd want to just improve a bit so we'll probably take her down to Warnable and uh, give her a crack at another mile and a quarter race and be guided by where we go to from there yeah, runners this week now. We'll go to um, uh, Colac on Friday. Um, now, we'll start Northern Sold. He can go to a mile. Um, I probably had him ridden wrong the other day and rode him back, and he sort of worked home okay. So we'll probably ride him a little bit closer and uh, with the vision of him going pretty good and then go up to a mile and a quarter after that, and he'll be hard to beat then. I think um, I think Roldana wants to go to the race, so she's pretty keen to, uh, to be part of it this week. Um, uh, also, in the same race, we'll run uh, Marcello Sonata. Um, I probably, uh, I thought he'd sort of be a bit more aggressive the other day at, from a mile uh, at Stor at uh, Hamilton, and uh, he just sort of wanted to settle a little bit, so let's make up our mind on how we're going to ride him this week, but um, he'll go around in the same race. And uh, Kukul cool World's third emergency, I'm really keen, to, he's a bit really high, highly strung horse at Orsi, he just needs to go to the races a few times. So I'm really keen to uh, get a run with him this Friday, and then back him up at Geelong the following Sunday, where I think he'll be really hard to beat, so um, I'll just put this 12 on a metre run under his belt, and go to 1500 at uh, Geelong. Um, he's just third emergency, so I um, might just really struggle. Um, and that's probably all we're going to have to run this week. I've um, we just uh, we bought a heap of young ones out into the stables and uh, into the stables. And uh, there's there's one now. We're just getting his shoes put on. And um, he uh, so we're probably going to have a uh, in the next month or so. Probably not going to have all that many runners. Probably have a couple of runners a week. But um, you know we're probably setting ourselves up for the uh, for the winter. Hi everyone, uh, I had a pretty average week last week. My best effort was a second on Artie Shaw. I had carried 61 kilos, so it was a pretty good effort by the horse and he'll be thereabouts next start. Uh, coming up this week on Friday, I'm riding at Colac. I have a record book of rides there, seven rides, which is the most I've ever had at a race meet. So I'm really looking forward to it. And um, I have a busy weekend on Saturday, I'm heading to Kyton. Um, and then on Sunday and Monday is Ararat, have a nice, couple, nice few rides there and on Monday uh, is Avoca. So I'm looking to get a few rides there and hoping to um, get a couple of winners along the way. I'll see you all next week. <laughs> Yeah, this is probably part of the job that I really enjoy is um, is uh, all the young ones. So I probably started off my business in breaking in and pre-training and that sort of stuff, but um, you tend to tend to get lost a little bit. But um, it's great we've got all our, um, our we've got four little uh, yearling fillies that are all about to go off to be broken in, and um, uh, they're just about syndicated. I think there might be one share left in the Star Spangled Banner. Might be two shares left in the Star Spangled Banner filly, and um, but these are a couple of homebreds. It is quite interesting the horses that have had yearling sale preparations compared to the ones that haven't. Like this filly is probably. Um, hasn't had a yearling sale prep or anything. She may be a little bit lighter in condition, but she's going to develop into a beautiful horse um, where they just had a little bit extra time where the horses that have had yearling sale preps tend to be a little bit heavier and um, uh, really interesting down the track, probably have a few more little injuries because they've been worked as really young horses. But um, but these are all ready to go. The breakers, they'll go off this week and um, hopefully uh, there's a champion amongst them. Hi everyone, nearly got the rear double in last week, our 20 to 1 pop, ah, never mind, let's go and find some winners this week. Straight to Caulfield, race 7, number 3, Invincible Heart, Mick Price and Mr Newitt, and my value bet at Randwick is race 2, number 6, a debut horse called Winning Rupert at 20 to 1. So good luck, good punning, and we'll catch you next week.
that's it for another week at MZ Lodge. Thanks for watching. Uh, yeah, it's one of those really busy times at the moment. We've got a lot of horses in work and uh, a lot of young ones that have just come back into work. And uh, yeah, they'll all race. Uh, a lot of our two year olds should get to the races as late two year olds in the uh, winter. So they're all come back into work. A couple of horses we've got racing are probably all, um, you know, quite a few city grade horses at the moment. So that's great. And uh, uh, pretty keen to get them to the races. They're all up over their right distance now. So that's all good. I'm going to be sitting on the tractor for the next couple of days. The, um, um, we're going to renovate the entire farm. We're um, going to oversow all the paddocks and uh, fertilize all the paddocks, superphosphate them and uh, lime them and all that sort of stuff. So full on here, it's really busy. So uh, pretty busy time and uh, hopefully have a bit of luck on the racetrack. Until next week, see you later. There you go. Oh. <laughs> but just the top seven, mix it and match it. All your exotics. Don't pack anything below seven, above seven. Start again. Um, I don't want a character. I just want to go about my day, do my job, and that's it. I've been here for 12 years, and I'll be here until Jamie retires. I am looking at the camera. <laughs>